Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will show you how to properly represent the line, line type here in the model space. Now, this is a common problem people face when they start learning AutoCAD, is that they don't see the line type here in the model. Uh, even though I'm going to select here, you can see here I have a simple uh, simple plot plan or site plan for a single family residence. Uh, this red lines, they represent the property lines. The green represent the roof and the blue here represent the, the walls of the house itself. Okay, so I'm going to select this property lines. Uh, and you can see here that on the line type, I chose center. And even though it's not visible here, it's not clear. And the same for this blue line, the lines that represent the house under the roof, I chose the line type dash, and still I can't see it here unless you really, really zoom in. So it's there, but you really need to zoom in to see it. So how do we see it in a way that, that we can tell that we did assign the line type scale? What you want to do is go to drafting settings on the bottom right, and what you want to change here, if you see here, this area is called the annotation scale uh, of the current view. So right now, by default in AutoCAD, it's always set to 1 to 1. So you want to click on it and switch to a scale that match roughly the scale that you will put this drawing on later on when you put it on your paper. So for example, a site plan or a plot plan, I'm most likely going to put it on a 1 8 uh, scale on the paper. And after you put the scale, what you want to do is regenerate. So to regenerate this right now, we type R, E, and you click enter. And now you can see the lines are visible. Now they might be really too big in here. Let's see, let's switch to a quarter scale, quarter inches scale. And I'm gonna do regenerate again, click enter. Now you can see this is, this is maybe better. And what else I wanna show? So if we go to layout, you see here on the paper, the, the line weight shows perfectly here, but on the model, the model space to make it show, you need to change the annotation scale here. One more note I would like to add that maybe you are not satisfied with how the repetition of this is looking in a quarter inch scale. Maybe you'd like it to show more repetition of the line type. To do that, we need to go to the properties menu and change the line type scale. So the easiest way to go to properties menu is to actually, let's actually type it P-R-O properties and I'm going to click enter. And right now we have the properties menu here. It popped up floating on the side. I'm just going to dock it to the right side of my screen and I'm going to expand this a little bit more. And here we go. I'm going to select the property lines. And right now you see here under general properties under line type there's something called line type scale and it's by default set to one if i set this to two it will make it double the repetition sorry not double the repetition it will make it half the repetition or the scale of this line it got bigger so what you want to do is probably go smaller so i'm going to do 0 0.5 and click enter and here you go this might look better for you um, you decide what works for you and for the walls i'm going to do the same here i'm going to do 0.5 click enter and here you go and this is how you can see the line type on the model space in AutoCAD.